Hello, welcome. How you doing? Welcome to the Not Your Average White Boy Show. I'd like to start off with the, uh, uh well, the first episode of me just kind of walking around being the Not Your Average White Boy. I mean, I might be a kind, kind Your Average White Boy. I am walking along a creek, you know, and well, not really a creek. It's part of a drainage canal. It's not really a drainage canal, but a canal system. Get some good catfish out of it, yeah. But, uh, I just want to say hello, world. I, uh, did a little thing for about a week uh, on a little app called Meet Me. It used to be my yearbook way back in the day. Um, if any of y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, but I called it the Not Your Average White Boy Show. And it was basically I had a week off from work and so did a buddy of mine next door. And uh, I said, fuck it, let's, let's create a live video. And it's, it was because we had a you know, like, kind of like a live audience that would roll through, and it became kind of a thing, uh, made some people laugh, I showed my ass, literally showed my ass, a couple of the people showed their ass, had a couple of my friends take their shirt off, we do little, did little jigs, just had a good grand old up time, um, but I just want to say hello, and welcome to the Not Your Average White Boy Show, uh, I, I can be quite retarded, I can be quite stupid, um, hopefully more closer in the near future I'll be able to, uh, kind of facilitate more of a stupid show, and, uh, I hope you can get a laugh off of future videos to come, if they do come, I really hope they do, and if you're tuning in and you're watching, I do appreciate it, please, uh, um, Something you never know. Somebody who uh, saw the Not Your Average White Boy show might come jump, come say hello. Um, but uh, my name is Jackson, aka Jukeson. Uh, we had the token, uh, we had the token black guy. We had JC. We had the Mike. We had the Curtis. Oh, it was a good grand old thing. I mean, we, uh, I, I. <sighs> I really don't know what you people want to see. Um, I see people every day jumping on and creating YouTube channels and talking about random things. And so that's what I guess I'm kind of doing on, on uh, the Not Your Average White Boy channel. Um, and now I'm take some videos of me fishing if I ever catch anything, you know, cool like. I mean, I caught a giant ass mullet the other day. That damn thing was like. Bigger than my forearm. Like, like that big. I kid you not. Uh, <laughs> it was a fish. It was the biggest freaking mullet I had ever seen. But uh, that, that, that's near done past the point. Um, if uh, anybody knows where Blomont motherfucking me Texas is at, I'll let that be a little bit of a riddle. But uh, that's about down where I'm at. It's, it's, it's hot at the moment. It is... Uh, Sometime, what what time is it? We got 7, 12 in the morning. Um, and I'm out here just kind of walking along. I uh, just did a Facebook Live video on uh, like challenges and stresses. And uh, I, I don't know, I'm not the great talky type. Um, but all, all I was saying about that is, uh, you know, you may have challenges and you may have stresses. You know, uh, maybe baby mama's cheating on you. Maybe your mom's dying in the hospital. Uh, maybe you don't know how you're going to make that next payment. Maybe you uh, don't know how you're going to get your kid diapers. Um, everybody has all their challenges and all their stresses throughout their life. And uh, the only thing I can tell you personally is you got to keep rolling with the punches. Keep going with the punches. Keep slugging. Keep climbing. Keep pushing, keep breaking through because the light at the end of that tunnel, my friend, ain't that far away. You just gotta keep, get your, keep your head down and left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, and you'll power your way through it. Whenever you think you got this big challenge, this big stress, you're stressing out over this something for, for some reason, calm down, take a moment. Look at the sky. Listen to the birds chirp. And realize that it's, it's going to be okay. 
it is. Whatever it is, it's going to be okay. And I don't need to call upon a God to tell you that it's going to be okay. You just got to... It's more of telling yourself it's going to be okay and putting into that mindset that it's going to be okay and that your problems aren't that bad. Your challenges aren't as big of a challenge as you think it is. And that your problems are going to be yours and yours alone. You can't rely upon, you know, baby mama or your daddy or your mama, your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your half nephew, your second removed, whippy whoppy, whatever the fuck. And just expect everybody to go like Mr. Clean and wipe all your problems and troubles away. It doesn't happen like that. Life doesn't happen like that. Shit's not handed to you. And if anybody else can't attest to that fucking firsthand, then I can. And uh, there might be some kind of thing in... Oh, watch your language on the YouTube. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm in America. And uh, if you don't know what that is, then you need to do some research. I'm just saying, I, 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 I did sign my life over for my right to say, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a single flying fuck. Behold my field of fucks. And do you see how it is barren? Really? That's how I get by with life. I don't give a fuck. I mean, I give a fuck about certain things. But on the most part of it, I really don't give a fuck. And that's one of the reasons why I dub myself the not your average white boy. Um, Fuck. If you can't appreciate that, then I don't know what you can appreciate. But if you stuck with my bullshit for the whole fucking seven minutes now, thank you for sticking with my bullshit. And um, if you have your tr your stresses and your challenges, you know, calm down. Take a step back. Breathe. Overview the situation and step forward. Keep trudging. Ah, if I can speak right. Keep trudging. Keep moving along. Keep taking that step. Keep fighting. Keep pushing. Because when you stop pushing and you stop fighting, that's when you give up. And I know you don't want to give up. Nobody wants to give up. It is not in the bulk vast of humanity's mind to give up. Don't give up. Don't let them win. And don't let people have free rent inside of your head. Live life. Live it well. And I wish all y'all the best, peace, and prosper. Take care of yourself. Come on back and see my bullshit now.